It's the first time I've heard that cassette tapes produce babies. What about you? It's an <laughs> amazing thing. Dan, thank you very much. I'm very, very privileged. Thank you for that welcome, too. I'm very, very privileged uh, to be here. Uh, in fact, at my age, of course, I'm privileged to be anywhere, but particularly, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, particularly here. <laughs> And what I want to do as we come to the end of the day is just make sure that you get it, right? And so I was thinking backstage, how would I make sure that you get it? And I suppose the simple way of doing that is to say it very, very simply and hopefully profoundly. And in a very simple sentence, what I would love you to get is that KPI changes and transforms lives. Not just yours and not just the lives of your team, not even just the lives of your customers, but the lives of people that you probably will never, ever get to meet. And you're going to find in a moment or two that through, oh, not through them, there we are, but through B1G1, let's just click that one, I hope it went correctly, through B1G1, or some people call it Biggie, but no, it's buy one, give one, you're going to find that already that has produced transformation and changed over 75 million lives. And I'm going to show you how that happened. And it happened not just through the skill of partnership, but through all of the five Ps that you have listened to today. So let's quickly talk about what B1G1 does. What we do, as you can see up there, and I can't see down here, I need better eyes obviously, so help me look up there, is we help businesses, specifically the 70% of the businesses, not necessarily the corporates, but the 70% of businesses who power every single economy in the so-called first world. And that is to say, small to medium-scale businesses. And it's really fascinating when you look at some of those numbers. When you look, for example, at the giving that goes on, let's say, in America, you find that that number is a staggering $380 billion. And yet, the amazing thing about that $380 billion is that only 5.43% of that comes from business. Is anybody staggered by that? It's like staggering. And when you look at that number even further, you find that all of that percentage, that 5% number, comes mostly from corporates. And the reason is, of course, that we in small to medium scale businesses are you know, wanting it to, we're, we're spending all of our time making the business grow and all of those sorts of things. But what if, what if we could do something every second, every day, and in every way that impacts lives, not just ours, not just our teams, not just our customers, but those who we might never even meet. And that's what B1G1 does. And it does it just, or lets you do it rather, just by you doing what you normally do. And I'll explain that like this. I want you to imagine, just imagine a very different world. Imagine a world, if you will, that's absolutely full of giving. That's what we imagined when we started this, a world that's full of giving. Why would you want to imagine that? Very simply, because it's a happier world. So how could you create that? Well, imagine this. When a retail store, or when you buy a dress, hopefully you're, male, you're female when you do that, when you buy a dress, how about a young girl is given access to education just because you did that. Or imagine, where I prefer to imagine it from, is if you were the owner of that dress store. And every time someone came in, something happened. Or in your consulting business, when you did some consult, just because you did that, you made something great happen. By the way, how's that sound? Sound pretty cool? <laughs> it gets even better. Or oh, think of this one. Think of this one. There are two billion cups of coffee sold each day. Two billion. And yet there are 700 million people who don't have access to water. So just imagine that if you owned a coffee shop, that every time someone had a coffee, a kid somewhere got access to pure life-saving water. Imagine when you bought that plasma TV, or if you were a store selling that plasma TV, 
to somebody who needed vision because that's why they wanted, or wanted vision at least, that's why they wanted the plasma TV. But imagine if when that happened, someone who could not see got the gift of sight. Imagine you being on the KPI program and imagine you writing your book and imagine that every time someone bought that book, trees got planted just because you did what you do or just by doing what you normally do. By the way, do we have any accountants here? Any accountants? Oh, look at that, the eighth wonder of the world, an accountant who smiles. That's amazing. <laughs> very, wow, this guy, <laughs> very, very good. And your first name is? Correct. Okay, so <laughs> very good. They've got the smart people in the front, Daniel. Very good. <laughs> and talking of accountants, how about when an accountant creates a new client, a family in Kenya gets a, gets a goat, which gives them a sustainable income for the rest of their life. Just imagine all of those things happening on a platform that that you would have called buy one, give one. Interestingly, I mentioned, so this is what we believe. We believe that businesses with a real sense of purpose and a real sense of meaning can and do change our world. This job that I have, with great respect to the job that you do, I think it's the best job in the world. Why? Because I mentioned that 75, and by the way, this is, about some of the partnerships. Let me talk about some of the partnerships that we have created thanks to KPI. And I want to stress that this is not just about that P. This is about all of the five Ps coming together in very meaningful ways. So here we go. So businesses can and do change our world. As I said, every second, every day, and in every way with B1G1. So right now, there are some 1,600 partners around the world. There are 350 of those are accounting firms. Uh, Shane, yes. Yeah. <laughs> some of those, by the way, are in the room. Lovely to see you here. And some 800 amazingly high impact projects. Not projects that have necessarily high buildings and all of that kind of stuff, but projects that we actually put through some interesting tests. So they can't just be charities. They have to be projects that are on the ground. Our board at Buy One, Give One actually rejects six out of every seven of the charities and the projects that apply to be a part of B1G1. So what that means is whenever you see a B1G1 project, you know that it's just doing amazing things. So let me get to that number. Uh, never ever doubt that maybe all of those little notes that you've taken today about the small changes that you're going to make. Never ever doubt that those tiny things can make a big difference. Because when we started thinking about buy one, give one, it was just this funny little thought that kind of niggled away. And, and now look at it, 70, actually that's out of date, that was this morning. Today, this afternoon, it's now 75 million, 654, 600 and something else giving impacts. What do you think? Is that pretty cool? <laughs> <laughs> and the great thing is that that's not us. All we did was just kind of make it happen by building a platform that let people like you do that. And the reason I'm, oh, by the way, one other thing that I should mention about this as well is that when you give in B1G1 fully, and you know this doesn't happen, you know this is rare, fully, 100%, of what you give goes to where you want it to go, fully, 100%. <laughs> it's a pretty cool model because when you give and you give with your credit card, you would know that the banks take money off that. Well, we make that back up so that we can always look you in the eye and say 100%. And by the way, it's not just about, remember I said it's not just about the partnership P, it's about other things as well. And uh, I'm really, really thrilled that uh, the lady who founded this, her name is Masami Sato. She, as we speak, is actually doing KPI uh, and nearly finished her KPI program uh, over there in Singapore. The change that has made in her is profound. She was already there, but, and this is the book that's coming out 
uh, in July. Is it there, Dan? Yes, it is. It's called Giving Business, create, Creating the Maximum Impact in a Meaning-Driven World. I wish I could give you copies today, but I can't. That's July when that comes out. And yes, she's working with Lucy uh, to make all of that happen. So what you may notice is, and I said it's not about that one KPI skill, it's about all of them. But if you would notice, there is a shift here. Bernadette Giwar, in this brilliant book, which if you haven't got it, you should get, it's called Meaningful, and you can get that on Amazon for less than $3. So Bernadette Giwar, J-I-W-A. She talks about how the world is shifting to a meaning-driven world, and you know that because you're part of it as well. So maybe that requires an interesting kind of what-if shift. And I'm sure you can sense that shift. So let me just give you a couple of what ifs, a couple of ways of perhaps changing the thinking. You see, some people come into KPI in order to get ideas, and there's nothing at all wrong with that, fundamentally. But what if when you come, as I hope you will, into KPI, you got that it's not just about getting ideas, it's actually about sharing ideas. And when you get that little shift, it changes everything that goes on for you. Some people come because they think they're going to be inspired. So yes, give me the inspiration. But what if it's not about that? What if it's actually not about getting the inspiration? What if it's actually about being the source of the inspiration? And so whether or not you come on this journey, hopefully these shifts are important to you. Some people go, well, it's all about looking for opportunity. Well, maybe not. Maybe it's about creating opportunity. Some people think it's about being in the spotlight. But what if it's not actually being in the spotlight? What if you're the spotlight shining that on other people so they can rise up as well? Some people think it's about looking different. What if it's actually not about looking different or being different? What if it's actually about making a difference? And what if some people even think that it's about creating a great first impression? But what if it's not about creating a great first impression? What if KPI is actually about creating a lasting legacy? And I hope that when you go through the KPI program, those little things that we just shifted. By the way, did they make sense to you? Did you get yeah. tiny little shifts, but such a big difference? And Dan, thank you for letting me be here as well. And by the way, if you think KPI is for you, is that what it says? <laughs> you somehow missed the point, because KPI is actually about what you can do for others. Thank you for letting me be a part of this. Thank you very much. <laughs>